Alright, so I thought I'd share my design for a cheap, simple, uh, and very effective uh, DIY fog cooler. I call it the 5 gallon bucket fog cooler because it's made out of a 5 gallon bucket. That should be pretty obvious. So when I first started uh, trying to get into fog coolers, I was using a very small fog machine and as a result all of the cooler based fog coolers that I tried just did not work very well. I found that by the time I filled up the entire cooler with fog and it started pushing out the other end, the fog machine would have to shut off and reheat. So it, it just didn't work that well for me. So I ended up coming up with this design. So how you make this is really simple. You get yourself some hole saws. You drill a small hole on one side, a larger hole on the other side, and then you put a barrier between them. Now, I like to use sheet aluminum because I've got a lot of scrap sheet aluminum laying around. Of course, not everyone's going to have a bunch of scrap sheet aluminum laying around. Um, you can really make this barrier out of just about anything that's solid uh, wood. Uh, I actually used cardboard the very first time I made one of these, which, believe it or not, worked just fine. It did get soggy, but it worked. Um, so in this case, it's just sheet aluminum, uh, bent the ends to make kind of flanges, and then screwed in from the outside with some screws and it's painted black to blend in. For the lid, uh, in the past I have used cardboard taped to the bucket because for some reason I didn't just buy a lid. You can use the kinds of lids that come with these, but I don't really like those because they, they tend to break easy and they're hard to get on and off. So what I like to use is these reusable lids. You can pick these up for about two bucks when you buy the bucket. So the way this works, is you have your fog machine on the side with the smaller hole and you want to leave a gap between the fog machine and the fog cooler. The reason you do that is you want the fog uh, coming out of the machine to be able to draw in air to help with the formation of said fog. So inside here you fill the ice up to the, about the height of your barrier because if you go any higher it's going to spill into the other side. Fill the ice up to the height of the barrier on the outgoing side of the bucket. There shouldn't be any ice on the incoming side of the bucket. And the way this works is the fog will come into here and it's going to expand in this empty space. You want some room for expansion of the fog. Now before the fog can leave though, it has to come back up. It comes in, up, and back down through the ice before finally exiting the hole. Now this one has a bit of ducting on it because it normally goes in there and it's used to fill up that bucket with fog to make it look kind of like a boiling cauldron. Um, this design works really well for smaller fog machines. Your typical 400 watt fog machine you get from Walmart, Home Depot, Target, wherever. Those work really well on these coolers. I tend to use them on Halloween, so usually they'll run for anywhere between about three or four hours max. And over that period of time, I've found that there's not really an appreciable loss of ice. The fog coming out of them is nice and cool. It tends to hang low to the ground. They just work really well. However, they're only really good for those smaller fog machines. The first time I got a 700 watt fog machine, I tried to run it on one of these coolers and it just did not work. The ice melted in like an hour. Uh, the fog that came out before then just wasn't very cool. It just didn't work well. I even tried raising the, uh, the barrier to get more ice in the unit, but that didn't work. The simple fact of the matter is that these five gallon uh, fog coolers, they simply, they just don't hold enough ice and they don't have enough space in them to accommodate the higher temperatures and the higher output of fog uh, created by a, a higher wattage fog machine while still being effective. But if you've got something that's running on a little 400 watt fog machine and you just need a compact, easy to use, easy to make fog cooler, these work really well.